Welcome everyone to another wonderful episode here at JAWS Podiatry. We have uh, an adolescent patient who has presented to our office. So we have also mom and we have a little, another pediatric patient here. We love pediatric patients. Um, patient has presented with bilateral, bilateral paronychias. Paronychias ingrown toenails with associated abscess. Let's take a look here. Uh, significant amount of drainage, uh, malodor. Uh, there is an abscess ingrown toenail. The the one on the left already. Yeah, people can. It's already. You see. I'll just kind of give it a little squeeze here, and everyone can see here. There's uh, there's pus here. And then, uh, same thing, redness, pain, uh, you know, typical, typical paronychia. Let's go ahead and start with the, um, let's get a nice little view there for for the entire public, uh, this bed. I like to be with these cases, I like to be a little bit more, um, to eliminate the, inf the infection, right? Um, little just okay. Tolerable? Okay, this is going to be very, very quick, so... Okay, here we go, that's one. And then let's go over here now. All the way back. And everyone's favorite. Okay. So let's go ahead and remove this little this little one here. Maybe not so little. Here we go. And we have liftoff. Whoa. I think I'm good. Okay, so that's um that's quite a whopper. Um there it goes. Okay, and let's go to the other side here, Lizbeth. Thank you very much. The same thing, all the way back. Here we go. We have some pyogenic granulomas. And bingo. What a way to start the weekend, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Okay, so now we're just gonna check our... We're gonna check the back here. Okay, everything looks great. Nice and clean. We have our little pyogenic granuloma here. I'm gonna go ahead and excise that there as well. Let's go ahead and just check this one as well. Everything is nice and clean. I'll take my little, I'll take my little, I'll take my little nippa, right? My nippa. And we'll go ahead and just kind of just excise that. It's gonna bleed a lot because pyogenic granulomas bleed a lot. We'll leave that there. Let's go to the other one. And there is the pyogenic granuloma. Grab it, excise, done. Okay. Um, excuse me there. Just a little silver knife. Watch the phone, watch the visual there. Thank you. So now I'm just gonna use a little bit of silver nitrate here. We're gonna go ahead and just cauterize that, just like that. And we're done. Okay, and just like that, it'll, it'll definitely stop the bleeding. And then we'll go to the other side. And we go like this. Everyone see from there? Okay. Give it a little squeeze there. Okay. Patient's doing great. Wait a, just a second or two. So the reason why I also like to not use, in a situation like this, not use a tourniquet is because if you release the tourniquet, you do the, uh, the excision of the pyogenic granuloma, the lesion, 
you want to make sure that you cauterize everything. If not, it's going to be a bloody mess, and we don't want that, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that mom is going to be calling us. Ah! Okay. Okay. Antibiótico. Antibiotic. Uno. Antibiotico. Dos. One, two. Boom, 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 boom. Go to the other side. Boom, 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 boom. That's right, boom. I'm going to go ahead and clean this a little bit here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just clean. There's a little bit of blood here. We're just gonna clean that. <clears throat> People want me to smile more. Prevention is the key. Mom knows that. And the patient knows that. Like always, www.jawspodiatry.com, Instagram, Dr. Tojam, Jaws Podiatry, Facebook, and last but not least, the patient's favorite channel, our YouTube channel, Jaws Healthcare. Anything that you would like to say? Anyone, anyone going once? Anyone, anyone going twice? Sold. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone.